And what's up fellas? Welcome back to another episode. So yesterday I went to a tackle store to pick up some new tackle because what I want to do is I want to try to implement some new baits and lures on my channel. So I picked up an oldie and a goodie as you guys see in this little clip here. So what I plan to do is try to use that lure because I'm going to try a new spot out in Chocolate Bay. We got a really cool breezy morning. Had some rain yesterday so uh, fishing might be a little bit tough today. It's always tough when I go out fishing but I'm going to get my kayak rigged up and I'm going to get my gear all rigged up. So hopefully we'll have a good day using this new lure. I don't know what to expect. We'll see what happens. If it doesn't work, we always have our backups. So you guys stay tuned. Ladies and gents, we just launched, and as I stated before in the intro, we are going to be using an oldie but a goodie. Something I actually don't use on the channel much, which I think I should honestly. It's such a an old good bait. This right here is the half ounce, and we're going to we're going to put some uh, Pro Cure shrimp, so uh, give it that more realistic smell to it. We're going to use them. We're going to use a mullet for the shrimp. No, just joking. This is a shrimp right here, folks. Give it a little bit, a little something something on the bottom there. Give it that stink. And we are going to fish and hopefully we'll be able to catch some fish today with this nifty little lure. I have high hopes for it. But uh, then again, I don't want to speak too soon. <laughs> First cast. It's nice. It's a half ounce. So yeah, it is pretty heavy. I am using a medium light action um, rod and reel setup. So... This is probably more preferred. I guess you can go light, but it would be pushing the weight limit and uh, probably really feel awkward on that light action rod. But uh, this medium light fits it really nicely. I'm seeing some small little bait fish near the surface of the, the shoreline, so that's a good sign. Yeah, so using this bait, I think, uh, you know, because like I said, I haven't used it in a while. I mean, it's a shrimp imitation. It doesn't have a... A, a paddle tail to it where it just wiggles while you uh, you know do a retrieve so I'm what I'm doing is I'm just bouncing it on the ground I'm working at five foot depth going to my hummingbird making sure I count five seconds then I'm just bouncing it scooting it on the ground and hopefully we can target some fish gain some attention that way um, we'll see well we're not going to ponder too long on this lure if it doesn't work I uh, say within 45 minutes to an hour maybe even, even less and we're gonna we're gonna throw other things so Last time you guys see me do that, I was spending too much time on one particular type of lure and I just lost time and I lost. <laughs> so we're not going to do that, all right? Oh, there we go. That's a fish. Oh, he let go. That was a good fish right there. That was a nice dump. Let's see if we can get him again. That was a nice dump. Hopefully he'll get it again. All right, so we used the paddle tail for a little bit. Nothing. Let's move on to a different lure. We are going to try to salvage this day of fishing. Even though we started with a new lure, we're just not going to really waste any time. All right, let's go with the shrimp imitation high head. The small bitty one because I did see grass shrimp jump. Just put a little bit of pro cure, put some love on it. Let's see if we can catch a fish on it today, folks. Right here on the bottom. Just like that. Rub it in that rub it in that fur. Give it some love. And that should be enough stank to attract the bite, hopefully. Maybe a hard head. Okay, so recap folks. Um, we've seen birds. 
pick uh, these small little shad. We see, I, don't, I know you can't see it on the GoPro, but there's a bird right here picking these small little shads from the water. There are here in, in plenty. You see, he has one in his mouth right now. Very, very small. So I'm gonna fish with this hothead just for a few more minutes and see if we can get a bite because it is small still so small lure is going to help the best oh there we go that's a bite that's a small guy yeah that's a flounder small little flounder but i'll take him nice nice little flounder uh he's going to be right at probably 12 inches i'm thinking i'll take him though just release my flounder he was good about 12 inches, so, uh, but very happy that I got him on this lure right here, the, the hot head. Hopefully you guys can see that. We're gonna put some more stank on it. We're gonna work that area again. Maybe there's another flounder there. I have a feeling we're gonna catch a fish here. A good fish too. It's coming boys, hold on to your seats. We're gonna catch a fish here boys, I know it. I have a feeling. There we go. Yeah, I told you we're gonna catch a fish. <laughs> he's a small. Oh, it's another flounder. I'll take him. Yeah, he's not a big one. That's what we're dealing with, small guys today. I'll take him right at this drain. I knew we we're gonna catch a fish, guys. See, didn't I call it? You guys gotta believe me, man. If y'all put a wager in Vegas, y'all be millionaires. <laughs> this is about the same size as the first one I caught earlier today. Once again, on the hot head, and I wish he would just stay still. Look at that. Oh my gosh, actually he's a little bit bigger. He would be a definite 12 incher for sure. All right, check it out. Beautiful fish, man. Look at that. I love these flounders. We're using small bait, guys. I mean, you can't really expect to catch big fish all the time. Just doesn't really work that way. If it did, we'd be all on the bass tour. He is probably going to be right at 13 inches. Biggest one today, so about right here at this train. Watch this folks, I have a feeling I'm gonna catch a fish right here. Have I proved you guys wrong yet? There's a lot of mola in these grass lines here though. Oh, there we go. I told you, I told you, I told you. <laughs> I'm gonna catch a fish. It's a small little rat red, finally the first one today. They are here. It's like catching a unicorn, man, I promise. Look at that. First rat red at this drain, I called it. That's like playing horse and you catch it, you're calling all your shots or you're playing pool. Look at that, nice little redfish on the Slabalicious with the TT lure. Ah, oh, nice. Small little baits are catching a fish. That's the first red we've seen today, man. They are alive. Later, dude. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's a bite. That's a bite. Oh, wow. Okay. He's a decent size. He's probably going to be a... Oh, he let go. No, 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 no. Don't let go. Oh, you're still on. Oh, yes. Wow, he took it right at the drop. Oh, my God. I think he might be in my slot today. He is pulling, guys. He is pulling. Let's give him some drag. What is this? Well, it has to be a redfish, obviously. The way he's fighting. Oh, my gosh. I know. Yeah, I think he might be close to keeper, dude. He got some fight in him. Oh my god. All right, I don't want to lose him. I don't want to lose him. But I'm going to give you guys a third person view. I think this is the keeper, the way he is pulling. If he is, I am blessed beyond words to get my first keeper today. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's going to be a keeper. He's pulling hard. Wow, I just hope my line doesn't break. <laughs> We just gotta tire him out. Let's go this way. He's still on. Yeah, he's gonna be a keeper, guys. He's fighting really hard. Oh yeah. That's like a 21, 22 incher. Oh dude, I am so freaking lucky. I'm just tiring him out. Oh my God. I got my poles all over the place here too. 
Get this out of the way. Oh. Dude, I am freaking lucky. Oh my god. You gotta be joking, Nick. <laughs> Alright, come on in, buddy. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. You're done. You're done. Oh, yes. I got him. That's a keeper there, guys. Woo! 22 and a half inch redfish. Check that out. He's a good eating size, and you know what? I think I am going to keep him because my wife enjoys cooking redfish on her channel. It's a good collab, so yeah, we are going to keep this fella right here. I'm telling you what, fellas, words can't describe how I feel right now. The grind that I've gone through the past couple of trips to finally get a keeper redfish. Dude, I am so happy, man, to get this fella right here. Fish is expensive these days, man. Kroger's, a pound of redfish, if they had in stock, is like... Like 15 bucks or something like that. It's expensive, man. So, like, something like this would be like 50, 60 dollars, man, at least. So, I'm happy. We're going to keep this guy. And uh, got him on the Slab Delicious. Check it out on this lure right here with the TT lure. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that was a freaking grind today, but I was very fortunate to catch that one keeper red. And I am going to do a catch and cook for you guys. But the cook part is not going to be on my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to my wife's new cooking channel. It's called Simple Dish. All the information is down in the link below. All my hardcore subscribers that you guys watch all the way to the end, help a brother out, subscribe to her channel, check it out. She has some great cooking recipes and she's going to cook this redfish that I caught today to perfection. I promise you guys, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, it was a grinder today. The simple, very small slab slabalicious lure by Strike King and the TT uh, jig head. I think it's from Z Man. I'm not sure, but I, I'm gonna link all that information in the description below. So if you guys are interested in buying it, it'll be linked there. But uh, yeah, I was very fortunate, and very lucky. Fishing has been a grind, guys. Springtime. It's um, reminds me of kind of like in the middle of winter time, but we don't have the cold weather now. It's just it's just a grind. You gotta really work it to get the keeper red. Some people are very fortunate and they run right into schools of reds, but majority of us average guys like myself. We gotta work for it, but yeah, stay tuned guys. More videos to come. I love every single one of you guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.